Well, Nvidia, you got too comfortable and now your entire series is about to get its cheeks clapped in. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now you can get a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 10, just search Activate Under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. So everybody's been complaining about the prices of the RTX 40 series and been just begging for somebody to save us. Well, it looks like the RTX 40 series could be in for some serious trouble, guys, because we got some new information on some new AMD cards that that could absolutely clap Nvidia's cheeks. But before we get into that, we do actually have some really, really great information when it comes to the prices of GPUs. First, starting off with the RTX 4060 Ti. Everybody knows this GPU was way too expensive with the eight gigabytes of VRM that it has. Well, I got some great news. According to a videocards.com article, it looks like prices could be coming down significantly. Now, according to the article, they state, quote, MSI Ventus 2X is the first GeForce RTX 4060 Ti to drop below $335, which is just an absolutely insane drop off from the $400 that it launched at. And this is happening really, really quick, which tells me that people just aren't interested in picking up a 4060 Ti at $400. Realistically, $330 is where this card should be. And honestly, I wouldn't be too mad about buying it at that price. Now, if we take a closer look at the article, what you're gonna notice here is there's actually a number of GPUs being listed at substantially reduced prices, apparently on Newegg, if you use the code ZipTech. Now, I do wanna warn you guys that I don't think it's just the code. I've been seeing this going around in a lot of places and I think you do actually have to use some sort of like zip financing option. And honestly, I have no idea if that's a good idea or not. But according to the article, they just mentioned it appears using code ZipTech. And yeah, one of the options was a 4060 Ti for just $335. Now this all in all is a very substantial price cut. So it might be worth looking into to see whether or not you do have to use some sort of financing thing. If you do, I probably wouldn't recommend it. But if you don't, and all you need is the promo code, these are actually pretty decent prices for the 4060 Ti, especially that one for $335. I think that actually is where I'd like to see this graphics card and a good price to buy that GPU at. But there's actually another GPU that in my opinion is a way better deal and that's the ARC A750. Now, this thing has apparently dropped to just $180. And guys, the ARC A750 has been getting way, way faster every single driver that comes out. It's to the point now where in my opinion, it's probably on average gonna be a little bit closer to a 3060 Ti than is the 3060 that they were originally trying to compare it to. So if you can get that for $180 and you're roughly maybe somewhere around 10, maybe 20% at worst slower than an RTX 4060 Ti and you're talking less than half the cost, yeah, that's really, really good. Now, this information does come from, once again, a videocards.com article. And if we take a look, there is indeed a screenshot showing this ASRock ARC A750, a gigabyte for just $199.99. And then there's a $20 off promo code, which of course does bring it to roughly $180. And I gotta be honest with you guys, if you do see this, for $180, absolutely pull the trigger. That is an absolutely fantastic price for the ARC A750, and I cannot recommend it enough. So please, if you see it for $180, buy, 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 because that is really, really good, and it's only gonna get faster, I believe, as time goes on. But now let's go ahead and talk about the big story, as guys, NVIDIA could be in for some huge, and I mean huge trouble with the RTX 40 series, and I think NVIDIA is gonna have to drop their prices officially. I, I just don't see any other way they're gonna deal with this. They're gonna be absolutely effed if they don't do that. I, I don't know what they're gonna do because frankly, what's being shown here in some new leaks from AMD is 
crazy. It's it's so good compared to what Nvidia is offering that yeah, Nvidia is going to be screwed. So what am I talking about? Well, there's going to be a couple of new GPUs coming out from AMD that are going to be bringing some substantial performance increases and in seriously threatening Nvidia. What are those two cards? The RX 7700 and 7800. Now, these two cards have been getting leaked and talked about for a long time, but it looks like according to a post over on Twitter by the user all the watts showing some potential scores for these graphics cards. Now, another Twitter user, Harukaze, actually went ahead and put them together in a chart comparing them to Nvidia's current offerings. And as you can see, the RX 7900 XT, which has dropped to around $700 to $800 now, roughly, is already giving you much better performance than the RTX 4070 Ti for a similar price. However, the RX 7800 and 7700, where ray tracing isn't gonna be as important of a factor as those Nvidia counterpart GPUs also can't ray trace that well in my opinion either well yeah these two cards are going to be stomping all over nvidia's offerings now the arc 7800 not as impressive i think truly they should have cut down the 7900 xt to make this one i think it's a mistake that they didn't and it is a little bit underwhelming with this one it is a little bit faster than the 4070 and if it comes in at a cheaper price personally i think 550 dollars max is what they can get away with this however if they come in at 500 dollars with the rx 7800 and it's beating the rtx 4070 that's going to be an absolute steal no brainer you're going to want to buy that because not only will it be faster not only will it be cheaper but also we could be talking about 16 gigabytes of vram versus 12 so it's just going to age better despite the fact that it probably will have worse ray tracing i just don't think the rtx 4070 really has enough ray tracing grunt for it to be a future proof ray trace card anyway but guys the big one is the rx 7700 now take a look at this chart and compare it to the rtx 4060 ti 8 gig so not only am I expecting the ARC 7700, or at least hoping that they're going to put 12 gigabytes of VRAM on it. I mean, if they put eight, that would be absolutely ridiculous. So I think they're going to put 12 gigabytes of VRAM on it, immediately giving you 50% more video memory and allowing it to age much, much better. But look at those scores. 15,500 roughly in Time Spy versus 13,500 on the 4060 Ti. And if it's a similar price, if it's $400 and absolutely smoking it in terms of performance and giving you 50% more video memory, who in their right mind would ever buy an RTX 4060 Ti? So guys, these two GPUs are just making Nvidia look silly. They're giving you the amount of video memory that you want. They're giving you way more performance and they're probably gonna give it to you at a lower price as well and if AMD comes out and does that Nvidia is absolutely screwed there's no way the 4060 Ti can be saved other than basically dropping an entire hundred dollars off they're gonna have to drop that thing from like 400 to 300 dollars or it just will not sell because you got me messed up if you think that I'm going to be recommending a 4060 tie to anybody when you can get something way faster for the same price with way more video memory. It just doesn't make sense. So NVIDIA, you guys are going to have to respond to this or the 40 series as a whole as AMD continues to drop in price and especially as Intel brings out Battle Mage is basically going to be a dead series other than maybe a couple of cards. I mean, the 4090, it is still the fastest, and the 4070 is all right. I think if they drop $100 off the 4070, it would be a very good card. Uh, but the rest of the lineup is looking really bad. The 4080, really bad. The 4070 Ti, pretty bad. The, the RTX 4060 Ti, really bad. The RTX 4060, also really bad. They're just a huge ripoff all the way down the line. And I don't recommend, honestly, anybody picking up any cards other than, again, the 4090 and maybe the 4070, especially if you can get some discount codes or something to bring the price down. So if this turns out to be true and the pricing is good, good luck, NVIDIA, because you're going to need it. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the AMD really will bring out better performance at a better price? Or do you think they're going to drop the ball yet again? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.